So what's going on guys? The weather has finally, finally warmed up here in Ohio. You know, I apologize for my absence. Life has been a little crazy. The old man was in the hospital. It's been cold. He's out doing a lot better. Thank goodness. Been working on the car, testing out some different tunes, some different things. Some more on that coming here in the future. But like I said, it has been super hot out here the past three or four days. The pavement is finally getting warm, finally getting down some really awesome traction. But I have got something that really, really, really is hot. Let's check it out. So we know in the last video we talked about the Sky RC unit here, which works great, honestly. But I've got a belt that goes in and out. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So I was looking for another solution and this was pretty much one of the only ones that I could find right now. These are from Desert Hobbies and this is a direct plug-in to a three cell battery and they just basically run. There's no temper temperature control, nothing like that at all. So let's fire these things up and see how it goes. They do come with an XT90 installed on there. I just went ahead and made a converter to XT60 so that way I can use any of my 3S batteries that I have. So they just got Velcro here on both sides and just stick the tire in the middle and probably can do this with one hand. Oh yeah, no problem. So I like that bit, that's pretty nice gonna leave this one off here just because I want to get a temperature reading plugged into a big old 3s 5200 battery that should last a while I am going to hook up a volt checker to this thing lipo checker you can see right now we are at about 4.1 volts per cell and we'll just let this thing run a total of 12.5 we're going to go do a couple test hits and we'll just basically see how uh, long that battery lasts or how fast it's drawing so this thing's getting warm already so the bench is reading 74 degrees and we're reading about 95 to 100. Let us sit here for a few minutes and see how hot it actually gets. Looks like we're hitting somewhere around 125 to about 140, which isn't too bad. We don't need these things to get scorching hot. We just need them to stay warm so that way we can do less burnout. Gonna get everything all bolted up here, get the tires on there, and go do some test hits and see how everything works throughout a session. All right, so they are cranking away 11.9 volts. Not the most efficient things in the world, but they're definitely hot. The tires are warm. We've got everything all dialed in now. We're gonna do some test hits, see how these things uh, perform for us as far as keeping our tires warm and uh, getting hooked up here on this lovely road. The tires are scalding hot, really hot, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> 2 point eight at fifty seven miles per hour. Two point eight fifty six. Let this baby cool down a little bit. Well, I wish I would have brought the heat gun. These tires are still super warm. These things are working really good. A lot of dust on there. Gonna wipe them up a little bit, throw the warmers back on them for a couple minutes and uh, do another couple rips. Turn into a tuning session, but I am trying out some different things. More in another video about that. And the heat coming off of these things is fierce. Our voltage is at 11.6 so we're still holding strong again this is a 5200 milliamp battery so it's going to have the power to withstand how much uh current these things are pulling but man these things are hot so we're going to do another hit now fresh battery listen to the slight chirp here 
These things are so hot, they're gonna chirp real quick. There's no prep on these tires. Just cleaned and then simple green. So real short. Listen to that. Those things are grabbing. All right. Point seven at 56 miles per hour. I'm pleased with those tire warmers would be an understatement. Considering my last ones just didn't work at all after sitting on the bench for a few minutes. For 60 bucks though, it's quite a deal. Now, if you're into like touring car racing and everything like that, you can get the Sky RC that comes with all the cups for that. I'll be using that on my Tamiya TTO2 project. And if the belts ever come back in stock, I'll probably pick up a set just because, hey, I already have it. I don't know, maybe I'll give it away to one of you lucky guys or something, we'll see. That's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Don't forget to like and all that stuff, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.